Well, hi guys, uh, my name is Ben Fitzgerald and this is my before and after story. I've always really been a, a go with the flow kind of guy and I'm laid back to the point that I've lived my life through other people with, with superficial thoughts and actions and intentions. I never really learned to think on my own or, or for how to live for a greater purpose. And all through high school, I was the good Christian kid who, who knew the answers to how to live a life for Christ, but I didn't understand that there was such a personal element to it all. The effort that I put into following Jesus was really just to show everyone else that I had it all together. And then I came to school here at MSU and, and I saw other students my age that had something that I didn't have. They were actively seeking Christ through their thoughts and actions, but not for external reasons. They were following Christ because it brought them joy. They were reading their Bibles and praying, not because that was just what Christians did, but because they wanted to learn about God and, and to connect with Him. They were getting together with other Christians to worship and pray with each other, not because that was just what Christians did, but because that's where deep connections are found. And I'd always seen these things as, as an obligation, sure, but, but never really as a joy. But as I connected with Christians and crew, I, I learned what it means to pursue God. I learned that it wasn't about following a set of rules or, or checking boxes on my spiritual to-do list. It was about connecting with God and getting peace and satisfaction and purpose and joy. And there's so much in it for me when I'm connected to God in my thoughts and actions, and that had never really occurred to me before. And so now it's really all about the pursuit of that. But the pursuit isn't limited to my pursuit of God. I mean, he's pursuing me too. One of my favorite things to do is to reflect on my life and, and to look and see the little subtle ways that God has directed my path to get me to the just the place that he wants me. And that place is the place where I have the most joy and the most peace and the most satisfaction and the most purpose. So by being saved, my imperfections that were keeping me from God can no longer be held against me. So now I have a connection with God and have eternal life because I'm now considered righteous and perfect because the perfect life that Jesus lived is now exchanged for mine. So ultimately, I'm saved through my faith in Jesus Christ, and, and I had always known that, but I found it to go so much deeper than that. It's not about an obligation to just do what God tells me to do, but it's about experiencing peace and satisfaction and purpose and joy when I follow his will. And that's awesome. So thanks for taking the time to listen to my story. And I'd love to engage with any thoughts or questions that you might have. So if you have any, um, you can connect with me by using the link at the end of this video. Thanks a lot.